Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we will study Sjogren's syndrome. So, first of all, let's have a brief introduction. Uh, Sjogren's syndrome is a chronic disease. Sjogren's syndrome is an autoimmune disease. Sjogren's syndrome is a chronic inflammatory condition. So, it is an autoimmune disease in which your body's own immune system acts against your own self. It is a chronic inflammatory condition in which you have chronic inflammation going on in your body and it results in the destruction of the lacrimal glands and the salivary glands so it was the brief introduction that it results in the destruction of the lacrimal glands and the salivary glands your body recognizes your lacrimal glands and your salivary glands as foreign uh, foreign particles and destroy these glands so it is basically lymphocyte mediated damage t cell mediated damage your t cells come they recognize uh, these glands as, as foreign uh, bodies and they destroy these glands so what if you don't have the lacrimal gland if you don't have the lacrimal gland you will have no tear tear film in your eyes if you do not have the tears your eyes will become dry your eyes will have no protection your conjunctiva will have no product, uh, protection so it can result in dry eyes and it can ultimately result in conjunctivitis and it can ultimately then result in ulceration what if you do not have the salivary glands if you do not have the salivary glands you will uh, not have the saliva it will result in dry mouth which is also called the xerostomia and uh, if you do not have the salivary gland it will result in uh, dental caries and it can result in ulceration of the oral mucosa so to sum it up we have a uh, chronic autoimmune disease autoimmune destruction of the lacrimal glands autoimmune destruction of the salivary gland dry eyes dry mouth resulting in xerostomia keratoconjunctivitis cica resulting in dental caries resulting in oral ulcerations and corneal epithelial ulcers so this was the basic concept if uh, now we will talk about the epidemiology so uh, Sjogren syndrome is more common in older women between 50 and 60 years of age uh, its diagnosis usually takes uh, about six years to be diagnosed so if a, if an older woman presents with dry eyes and dry mouth think about Sjogren syndrome uh, now we will talk about the etiology so most of the cases uh, it can be a primary disease primary means that it is idiopathic it is not linked with any other disease which is also called the Sika syndrome primary Sjogren syndrome is also called the Sika syndrome and secondary Sjogren syndrome is associated with other autoimmune conditions uh, such as rheumatoid arthritis and uh, now we will talk about the diagnostics so rheumatoid factor first of all rheumatoid factor is usually present then we have the anti-nuclear antibodies which are present then we have the anti-ribonucleoprotein antibodies which are present so these anti-ribonucleoprotein antibodies are present against two antigens RO antigen and LA antigen these are two antigens present on the epithelial cells of the lacrimal glands and the salivary glands so and autoantibodies are formed against the uh, RO antigen and the LA antigen these autoantibodies are uh, associated with extra glandular manifestations as well such as neuropathy they damage the nerves as well and if these autoantibodies are found in pregnant women they will they can develop uh, babies with neonatal lupus and congenital heart these autoantibodies can also be seen in a subset, a subset of patients with SLE so if we talk about the diagnostics once again uh, we have rheumatoid factor which can be present we have uh, anti nuclear antibodies which can be present we have anti ribonucleoprotein antibodies which can be present and these antibodies are present against the RO and the LA antigen present on the epithelial surfaces of the lacrimal glands and the salivary glands and uh, then we have the gold standard diagnostic the biopsy lip biopsy in which we have lymphocytic saladenitis inflammation of the salivary gland uh, lymphocytic infiltration of the salivary gland the minor salivary gland which is usually present because it is a chronic inflammation so we will have lymphocytic infiltration 
Now, what are the complications of uh, Sjogren syndrome? So, we have increased risk for B cell lymphoma, uh, marginal uh, marginal zone lymphoma. If this is not treated, it can result in B cell lymphoma or marginal zone lymphoma. Now, we will sum it up. Uh, Sjogren syndrome is an autoimmune uh, disease. It results in the destruction of the lacrimal glands. It results in the destruction of the salivary glands. If there are no salivary glands, there will be no saliva. If there are no lacrimal glands, there will be no uh, tear film. Uh, it will result in dry eyes and dry mouth. The dry eyes can result in conjunctivitis. The dry mouth can result in xerostomia and dental caries and oral ulcers. And um, the Sjogren syndrome can be primary or secondary. Primary is usually uh, idiopathic secondary is associated with other other autoimmune disorders uh, for the diagnostic rheumatoid factor can be present anti-nuclear antibodies can be present anti-ribonucleoprotein antibodies can be present against the RO and the LA antigen present on the epithelial surfaces of the lacrimal glands and the salivary glands uh, pregnant women uh, with uh, positive uh, antibodies can present uh, babies with neonatal lupus and congenital heart block the uh, gold standard uh, diagnostic is uh, biopsy, lip biopsy, in which we have lymphocytic cellulitis, uh, and the complication is B cell lymphoma, marginal zone lymphoma, which is associated with chronic infl inflammation. So, if if a 50 to 60 year old woman presents with uh, dry eyes and dry mouth you should be suspecting Sjogren syndrome then you will have to assess whether it is primary or it is secondary primary is uh, idiopathic secondary is associated with other autoimmune disorders so if the patient has uh, other autoimmune disorders especially systemic lupus erythematosus and rheumatoid arthritis you should be thinking about secondary uh, Sjogren syndrome you will do the diagnostics you will uh, check for rheumatoid factor anti-nuclear antibody anti-ribonucleoprotein antibody if these antibodies are present you should go for the lip biopsy if you see lymphocytic cellulitis on the lip, lip biopsy your diagnosis is confirmed as uh, Sjogren syndrome you should treat it because it can result in b cell uh, lymphoma or marginal zone lymphoma thank you very much